Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my brooder hen. Well, it's not an alive brooder hen. It is this brooder plate from Titan Incubators. It's a website here. It's approximately 30 by 30 centimeters and is good for about 30 chicks. It's pretty simple, really. The brooder is a plate. This heats up here and the legs go into the side so if you press the button it'll come out and simply push it in press the button. This allows you to adjust the height as your chicks grow. And raise it up and down to adjust to their temperature. So what you need to do first is switch it on, it takes about 3 minutes to heat up, simply by plugging this in. Unfortunately there's no switch, I thought there might be a switch, turn it on and off, but no, just plug it on, plug it in, turn it on. When you start out, your chicks will be quite small, <clears throat> so what you'll do is, you'll raise this plate lower to come closer to them, and as they grow, you might need to shift it up so they can move in and out of the brooder freely. This gives them a warm space inside, yet allows them to come out if they want to cool down a little bit. What you need to do is watch out for their behaviour. So if they're all huddling together in the middle under the plate, then it's too cold. Maybe you'll need to lower it down. Conversely, if they're trying to get away from it, it's too hot, so raise it up, which makes it go further away, and lower the temperature. When I put my hand underneath, I can feel a warmth, but it's not very strong. If I raise my hand closer to it, I do feel the warmth a little more, so they do need it quite close. On the box it says it's 20 watts, which is a very low power usage. This is great because incubator bulbs, heat lamps, they're like 150 watts. And this brooder I'd kept on for about two and a half weeks before I turned it off. So that is a huge power consumption. These are a lot more efficient. So your chicks. As long as you set the height a little higher than the head so they're not having to crouch and they should be able to go in and out, they'll sit quite spread out and not have to huddle together for warmth. Just pay attention if they're tweeting or cheeping. If they're calling a lot then they're not happy about something. But if they're quiet then they should be fine. I checked on them regularly and they kept moving in and out. They don't seem to be huddled. They were quite evenly spread around the brooder. That's ideal. So there's not much to it. After you're done with it, just wipe it down. There's not a lot of parts to it. Simply plug it and turn it on. So just give it a good wipe down and take the legs out, store it away for next use. Simple overview of the Titan Incubator Brooder Hen. Actually got this one off Amazon, not their own website. Right, thank you. See you again soon.